Gospel and homily for the feast of Corpus Christi. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus made the crowds welcome, and he talked to them about the kingdom of God, and he cured those who were in need of healing. It was late afternoon when the twelve came to him and said, Send the people away, and they can go to the villages and farms round about to find lodging and food, for we are in a lonely place here. He replied, Give them something to eat yourselves. But they said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go ourselves and buy food for all these people. For there were about five thousand men. But he said to his disciples, Get them to sit down in parties of about fifty. They did so, and made them all sit down. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven, and said the blessing over them. Then he broke them and handed them to his disciples to distribute among the crowd. They all ate as much as they wanted. And when the scraps remaining were collected, they filled twelve baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. The Feast of Corpus Christi was instituted by Pope Urban IV in 1264. Around this time, unorthodox opinions were circulating and the feast was instituted in the 13th century to counteract these heretical views. Catholics proclaimed their faith in Jesus by coming to Mass. And in the Mass, we believe that the consecrated bread we receive is not just a symbol of Christ's presence, it is Christ himself, body and blood, soul and divinity. Now, as I said, Catholics proclaim their faith in Christ by coming to Mass and receiving him worthily in Holy Communion. It presupposes, however, that they are living Christian lives in line with the commandments of God and the teaching of the Church. No one is obliged to receive Holy Communion at every Mass, and no one should judge a person if they refrain from receiving. There could be a host of reasons for doing this. The Church only requires you to receive the Eucharist once a year during the Easter season, but of course it encourages you to receive much more often. Recently, some Catholics have mistakenly got the impression that the Church has changed its teaching on the admission to Holy Communion of people who are not being married in Church, or are living together, or are divorced and remarried outside the Church. Well, it simply hasn't. What Pope Francis wanted is that clergy listen with more compassion and sensitivity to each person's situation and leave no stone unturned to help them return to the sacraments of penance and Holy Communion. He cautioned priests who act in a cavalier way just dishing out the law without being pastorally sensitive to each person's situation. But it doesn't mean that the Church has gone soft on her teaching about the permanence of marriage and our eligibility to receive the sacraments, particularly the sacrament of the Eucharist. Now, if someone has fallen away from the practice of their faith and no longer goes to Sunday Mass but wishes to return, the door is always open for them. The sacrament of penance, however, is naturally the first port of call before returning to Holy Communion. Now that stands to reason. The situation changes if there are mitigating circumstances such as illness or during the recent pandemic, which is still going on, mind you, or if you are dependent on others to take you to Mass, or if the weather is atrocious, 
or if you can't find a church, or if you're a child or a teenager and there's no one to go with you, the church is an understanding mother, not a slave driver. We know also that there are stumbling blocks to sharing Holy Communion with other Christian bodies who don't share our teaching on the Eucharist or the priesthood or pivotal moral teaching. But Catholics too need to examine their consciences on where they stand on these issues before receiving Holy Communion. I know some bishops, for instance, who feel ill at ease giving Holy Communion to politicians or even the general population who don't throw their full weight be behind life issues. Revelation, the book of Revelation in the scriptures, 3.16 says, Because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spew you out of my mouth. And Jesus himself said, he that is not with me is in fact against me, and he means with him fully. If it weren't for the fact that we're weak human beings, we wouldn't need Holy Communion in the first place. We wouldn't need Christ. We wouldn't need salvation. We wouldn't need redemption. At Mass, we draw on his strength, enabling us to live as he taught, and eventually reach our heavenly homeland. He is the living bread come down from heaven who gives life to our souls. Thank you very much for listening and God bless you all.